Singapore last week. The whistle for this one is Ruben Keane from Australia. Tenth match on the series. Some new faces in the playing ranks and in the officiating ranks as well. BC Place with 20,000 strong here for this epic day one of the Canada Sevens. Argentina kicking off from right to left in this Pool D clash, the final one for these two sides. Argentina looking strong for a quarter-final berth, but will Ireland have other things to say about that? Kennedy goes up high to receive this. Oh, the great Terry Kennedy ripping around like his father did, who had 13 caps with the Irish side. Harry McNulty on that far side gets the bump. Great to see McNulty back in. He was the personal driver for Greg O'Shea before he was famous. Offside, number seven. So yeah, both teams feeling each other out in the early going. Ireland get the penalty, choose to kick for the line out. And now look at this. I think they're going to get the ball in Terry Kennedy's hands. He likes to go on a little outside break, in the way, and then play with and Jordan Conroy, depending on what the defenders do. So that's where the penalty crept in. They go up here, nice take from Demo Wanosi. Crossfield for Kennedy, the magic feet of Terry Kennedy. They've got a Roach looping around. Comes to Crossfield. Does Mark Roach, the aspiring jockey. It's another penalty. Two's got a roll. Again, it'll be interesting to see if they choose the same tactic. Had a double loop play, didn't get too much off it. It didn't look like Kennedy really engaged the Argentinian defenders. It's the inside wraps they were able to just slide off of. Uh, but again, choosing to go for the lineup, just kind of chipping away. They started inside their own 10. Now they're just outside the Argentinian 22. Uh, and gives them the chance to, again, yeah, they can feel their way into this game. They don't have to go for it all right in the early going. Argentina committing some offences here, giving possession to this Irish side that can be very dangerous. Whooped away from Hugo Lennox. Kennedy takes the outside gap. Oh, it throws it over the top. Jordan Conroy couldn't get there. And Las Puma Sevens have possession finally. Tobias Wade, the 22-year-old, and only second event for Argentina. Ball out of the top, Joaquin De La Vega, one of the brothers in the side. Herman Schiltz, long-time servant. Santiago Verapelt, in fact. Yeah. No, no, it's fine. It's gone backwards. Play ball. Irish mistake gives Argentina the ball, but not really able to take too much off it. Um, move the ball across the field, and now be an Irish throw into this lineup. So that Kennedy created a chance. If he could have got the ball in Conroy's hands, Conroy might have been away, but not able to do so. Roach, again, they go wide to early ball to Terry Kennedy. What can he do? Oh, I like a little move that. Lennox on the outside to Jordan Conroy. Conroy has three Argentine jerseys in front of him, and he's dumped to the ground. Mark Roach to reset things. Andrew Smith throws a dummy, gets to the first one, almost getting it away. Awanusi was there. Penalty for Ireland yet again, three in a row. And the Irish captain might just want to have a word with the referee, say, hey, there have been a few repeated infringements here. Um, just keep an eye on that one. And again, chance to go for the line out, set up a play. They've had that double wrap a couple times now. Uh, got the ball in Kennedy's hands each time, really. So he's the pivot. He's the one they're playing off and allowing him to Middle. read the defense and see where yeah, they want to go. There. Ireland, fourth place finish in Sevilla. Fourth in Singapore as well. They're a side that are moving up in the, the end, charts advantage. on this world rugby side. Advantage Lennox over. again to Terry Kennedy. Kennedy stutters and goes on the outside. Gets Conroy with him. Oh, it's classic from the Irish speedsters. And Jordan Conroy, the flash, gets the first try. Kennedy doing a great job. He's so good at that. He goes on that little outside arc and gets in between the center and the wing and the defense. The, wing, the defensive wing is looking in like, do, do you have him? Do I need to get him? As soon as he actually makes that body waiting towards Kennedy, Kennedy feeds Conroy and Conroy's in in the corner. Virtually impossible to stop. Named to the HSBC Dream Team for the 2020 series is Jordan Conroy. Conversion from Roach. Flags go up. It's 7-0. So as it stands right now, there's what the pool will look like. France and Ireland and Argentina will miss out. That's why we love this game of sevens. You're never done. 
Tackle release! Chance for them to rip it wide. Roman Schultz, 28 year old. 49 events he's played for Las Pumas Sevens. Santiago Berapelt across field. A little step there, Lotaro Bazan Velez. Good to see him back in an Argentine. Joyce Peaton, four plays and throwing a no looker. Down the short side, Herman Schultz gets the fan going. Schultz has support with him. He won't even go back on the inside because Herman Schultz has bulldozed his way over for a score. Come on, boys. Time off. Wow, great chase there from the Irish defense, but that just un unable to stop him from putting it down. Um, did look like he was able to touch the ball down despite the pressure from the Irish defender. Yeah, so I think he's got the ground in there. It's a great fight back from Argentina. They concede the try, immediately get back on the front foot, make it happen, slide through and get the, the try. Time. Thank you. <laughs> try awarded. Roman Schultz, 76 tries to his name. And he equals Diego Palmer's record of 76, tied fourth now all time for most tries for Argentina. Herman Schultz been around for so long, such a grafter. They've got those flash players out wide. Herman Schultz, he scores the tries as well, but he does a lot of the hard yards, a lot of the hard collisions for this Argentina team. And Basan Velez, brilliant setup for him indeed. Argentina back in this game. Struggled early on, giving away penalties. And the conversion from out wide is successful, seven apiece. We've seen a lot of not great kicking today, but that's an example of a fantastic kick there from Argentina. What do you expect it from the soccer mad country of Argentina? A lift here on Hugo Lennox. No, it's not yet. The Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Tackle, roll now! Now he's on the roll. ground for a tackle. I gave you a chance. Slow things down again. They prefer to go the line up. So I think Schultz felt that the, Arge the island had committed two attackers the more, but more. the second Irish okay. attacker either it didn't commit at all, as the ref would yeah. say, or was able to disengage quickly enough where he wasn't spotted. Um, and so when that goes to ground, he has to release as the tackler, not able to do that. And so it's an Irish penalty, and that penalty count starting to add up for Argentina. And again, if yeah, I was so on that island there. team, if I was the Irish yeah, captain, good. maybe, you're having a little word in the refs here, just saying, hey, can we watch that penalty count? It's starting to add up. Kills your momentum as well. Kennedy. This time looks to cut back towards his forwards. And he comes down to find Andrew Smith. Leave it. Now, Awanusi. Good carry from Awanusi. Studying political science at Trinity Western University. Where he plays some outstanding rugby. Penalty goes the other way. For San Velez. Here he comes down the short side. Using the fancy footwork. Perhaps he should be on Dancing with the Stars. That's fine. You know, Jordan Conroy is lit it up on that stage. And it's a steal. Brilliant bit of work here. Harry McNulty getting involved as well. Mark Roach. He's got Conroy on the outside and Kennedy with a loop. Terry Kennedy finds Jordan Conroy back on the inside. Dazzling footwork. It stays with Ireland. Seven apiece. Can they break it here? Awanusi. He attacks the line. Argentina extra getting roll. great Believe. body height here. Stop. It was the extra roll, and Felipe Galmestre getting in. Yeah, just interfering, stopping that from being able to be played quickly, yeah. and a time, couple time of the highs off. going down. I think it's been a long half for the end of a, day, a, long, a long day of rugby for both teams, so both teams happy to say, hey, sir, can we just take a 30 seconds um, before we get this going again? Well, Madison is tiring enough playing with seven. What's it like with six? It's a lot worse. I think, it, depending on the offense, like sometimes you're looking over at that guy sitting on the chair, like getting his breath back, Scrum and you're green. like, you, Scrum this is your it. fault. Um, but green. it's really often Scrum later in the game where it comes back to haunt you. Most teams, I mean, these guys are so fit. They've worked so hard. They were able to cover for Scrum this two minutes. Green. They were able to push through that pain. But as you get towards the end of that second half, that extra energy you've had to expend, it can come back to cost you. So we might not see it here. Ireland, these guys are really fit. They're going to be able to cover it. But later in the game, the extra energy they have to expend now could be really important. Crouch! All right, let's see how they go. Seven apiece, 30 seconds on the clock. Five! Nataro Bazan Velez debuted in Dubai in 2016. Set! He's fancy footwork with a one defender less. Argentina, go across field, Wade. In midfield, 
Oh, good strong Luciano Gonzalez. He's outstanding, Gonzalez. Oh, he's one of Argentine's best players. Conroy eventually comes back to get him. Thanks. All the way to the 22 right. for Los Pumas 7. Del Mestre. Number 10. With advantage, short ball. Schultz. Oh, man, Schultz in the gap. Schultz for the line. He's got a double for Argentina, and they make you pay. Schultz with the double and yeah, getting on the end of everything for Argentina right now, doing the hard work and then getting in the corner and great play from Argentina and they didn't really have to work too hard for that one. Broke through pretty easily with a couple of fans, went through one more phase and Schultz is able to score and a good end to the half for Argentina, especially how with the early going went. The extras from Tobias Wade will go over as well. Argentina come back here at the half time to lead 14 points to 7 against Ireland. It's a delight to be in this closed zone stadium. You hate to be cheesy now. You sure about that one? <laughs> Ireland v Argentina. 14 points to 7. Las Pumas, 7 on the left of your screen, lead against the Irish side here. All to play for in this Pool D decider. Leave it. Los Pumas down towards the short side. They go Joaquin de la Vega, 23 year old. His older brother Tomas played 12 tests for Argentina. Felipe in the squad here as well this weekend. Del Mestre takes him up. Roman Schultz has scored two tries so far in this game. Here's the difference between the two sides. Argentina with Basan Velez cuts back into Kennedy. Captain Billy Dardis has him. And de la Vega now goes high. To Schultz. Oh, he's ripped out of the tackle. Beautiful ball. Oh, the money ball to the money man. Marcus Mineta. First touch as he comes off the bench. It's a seven pointer. What a man to bring off the bench for Argentina. Hasn't been on, it's been on less than a minute, and he's got his first try. Uh, anyone would love that points to minute ratio there. Marcus Mineta, absolutely electric. Schultz again at the heart of everything finds the gap, finds the man who you want to find when there's a disorganized defense. Wow, that is scintillating to watch for Marcus Moneta, World 7th Player of the Year in 2021. So this kick over, 21 points to 7. Don't forget in this pool, the cross-up with Pool A, Marcus Moneta will be received the Olympia de Plata Award as the best player in Argentina beating our Los Pumas captain Julian Montoya and Marcus Kramer, the first sevens player to get that award. Brilliant stuff from the young gun, just 22 years of age, doing all sorts of stunning things here on the series. Kennedy finds Conroy. Conroy puts it back in the field of play. He's been forward. kicked ahead here. All bobbling on the ground and finally knocked back here towards the Argentine side. There it is. Advantage over. With Felipe Del Mestre now. Bronze medalist from the Olympic Games in 2020. Luciano Gonzalez, he's a cracker to watch. Gonzalez, power in those legs over the halfway line. That's off a foot, play on. Don't forget the team that finishes second in this pool will face Fiji. And it's not a task you want to put yourself on a day two, but San Velez kicks to Moneta. Marcus Moneta, he kicks ahead himself. He's got tremendous speed, but the ball will win the race. Argentina again looking for that kick in behind to Mineta and it's a deadly Lots weapon. I think Jordan Conroy flying across the field put enough pressure on Mineta just to stop him from getting that right. This is Luciano Gonzalez. He is just such a strong ball carrier. Not particularly tall or particularly big, but he just is so hard to bring down. He's always fighting, always Time driving his legs. And yeah, always one who when you see him running up at you, you're like, uh-oh, here comes a big contact. So fresh legs coming in as well. In here is Matt McDonald, second event for him. So as it stands here with the score currently, Argentina first France then will go through and play Fiji. It's all about avoiding the gold medalists from last week. Yeah, you always want to give yourself as, as, good, as, as good of a quarterfinal matchup as you can. So Little White was curious that France were happy at the end of that game, but I guess just happy to make the quarterfinals. Okay. Argentina stumbling early in this up, one, please. but now getting back in. into it and starting to put on the performance that they needed. Okay, time's Fiji, on now. Of course, not to play the USA, so <laughs> anything can happen in that game as well. Madison used to get the boots back on after Perry Baker got Set. hurt. He's okay at least. But won't take part in the rest of this tournament. Ireland, Too much. Free kick for them. They tap and go. Down by two 
converted tries. Thank you. Thank you. Then next on the outside to Terry Kennedy to look at his Fox and Magic to Jordan Conroy. Dancing with the stars, he has it yet again. Conroy will go in the corner, they force him in there. And he gets the second score for Ireland. Conroy with the long try, and that's yeah, a tough matchup for Franco Sabato. I think Moroni versus Conroy might be one, one to watch, but Conroy versus Sabato um, was the tough matchup, and Conroy able to go the length, but he does force him into the corner. And with Argentina having made all their conversions, that could prove to be the difference. Jordan Conroy, the leading try scorer of all time for this Irish side. The man known as the Flash puts it in the corner. He's got two in this game. It'll stay 21 points to 12, three to play. Yeah, so the experience of Franco Sabato knowing, okay, I can't stop him, but I'm gonna make sure he can only score in the corner. And now Argentina is still up by nine points. Billy Dardis, the captain. The restarts, can they pinch this? Harry McNulty tries to Backwards get it on to that one. Basan Velez, open space for Basan Velez. Oh, the little magician puts his head down. And he waves the wand into the corner. That is something special for the Los Puma flyer. The seas parting in front of Basan Velez there. He gets the ball. Looks like he's running into a crowd of people and emerges the other end as, yeah, gets a little escort through there, I think but able to go through and immediately putting Argentina back on the score sheet uh, and arresting any momentum that the Irish had built up. Love the little point and dive there. Do you think he's pointing to anyone in particular or just having a little bit of celebration? He's pointing to the camera right there. He knows where it is. Here's a wise old out. Here's Basan Belez. Lautaro back into the side. Had a few niggling injuries earlier in the series back to his best 26 points to 12 under two to play and Los Pumas sevens looking to clinch another quarterfinal position here bronze in Dubai one bronze Dubai two silver in Malaga bronze again in Sevilla fifth last week in Singapore down the middle they go Argentina ahead here if it stays like this over France but both two will go into a couple quarters for day two. Oh, up the middle they go Lennox a lovely ball inside of Terry Kennedy. Kennedy sets off on a run. Terry Kennedy <laughs> scores underneath the sticks. They've got to go quickly. Yeah, great break from Kennedy. It came from the earlier one. Um, Hugo Lennox breaking through the line really well and then just slowing down, knowing Kennedy was flying. And yeah, Kennedy's hard to catch in full flight there. Between Conroy and Kennedy, those two players scoring well over 100 tries for their country. So 26 points to 19. 40 seconds to go. Again, Arna tie this one up. That will send our numbers crunching here in the pool standings. Jack Kelly, first time he played it was Old Belvedere RFC. To the right for Ireland. Look, you step back in is Shane Mullins, the Bristol Bears Academy player. Dardis. They come to Harry McNulty. Brother Sean played for Ireland under 20. Now the LA Giltini's ball's been pinched and advantage for Del Mestre up the field. Almost ankle tap. Felipe Del Mestre, basketball top pass over the top. It's there for Franco Sabato. And Argentina have position here with Gaston Raval going over the top to Joaquin De La Vega. Raval can kick this one out. Or they'll keep it in hand here. Rodrigo Ucro. Now finally they do punch this one into the stands. And Los Pumas Sevens finish off this game. And they do enough in the end to win 26 points to 19 against Ireland to the Cup quarterfinals.